What is up, guys? Bucket Help here. And I just uh, received my Mac from the store, so I thought I'd show you how to set up your bucket server on the Macintosh. This uh, tutorial will be pretty simple and easy. So, first thing you need to do is go to bucket.org. Let again, link in the description. And then you're going to see this main page here. Now, for you, you're just going to want to go for the recommended builds. So you'll be in this home tab right here when you go into bucket.org. Over in the sidebar, you should see recommended builds. So go ahead and, and click the one that says 1.3.1 at the end. So recommended build for craft bucket 1.3.1. So we'll pull this up, download the craft bucket. And while that's downloading, we'll want to go to the get craft bucket, the new tab and we'll come to the setting up a server page so once again we'll click get craft bucket then on this page you want to scroll down to where it says Mac OS X and you'll want this is basically the text version of the tutorial and anything you'll need in this I'll put in the description but if in case you want to see this too I showed you so now that we have downloaded I believe it's downloaded there we go we can go ahead and create a new folder so we'll create a new folder called bucket server okay then we'll go ahead and drag the jar over up into the bucket server folder if I can get that to work hopefully there we go okay next thing we'll want to do is rename this so select it and press the return key Rename it to craft bucket dot jar. Just rename it to craft bucket. And if there's no dot jar ending, you should just put craft bucket. Alright, so now that that's done, we're gonna make a new text file. So let's go to launchpad, open up our let's see where there you are, text edit. But wanna select your downloads folder and select your bucket server and then you'll put a new document so let's make a new document okay now we have a new document in text edit we will go over back to the setting up a server file this will also be in the description in case you don't want to go to this page and you'll see under number three in the main area so right here and then number one below that you'll see this uh, text right here and you'll want to copy and paste that and again this text will be in the description and you'll want to paste that into this file now this will not work unless I go to over to text edit up in the top left corner go to preferences and change the format that it displays text in from rich to plain text so once you do that this text might look a little bit different either way uh, just paste that in here and once you do that go ahead and exit out you'll want to save it so I'll save it in my downloads folder and I'll name it let's see take everything out here and then we'll do start dot command sorry right, we'll save that we'll have a command file over here alright so next thing we want to do is you're gonna do is you're going to open up terminal now and we'll move terminal over here so we can see all the beautiful stuff over here. And then I'm going to type chmod space. So mod space a plus x. And that will come up. So next we want to do, I'm going to go ahead and paste it from a file. So chmod a plus x space. And then we're going to drag this over. So it's going to link to my file and it's just edited the file with more permissions so now we'll be able to use it and so if you've done everything correctly you can just double click that and the server will start up so let it generate the map almost done it looks like give it a second Servers are working right now, just to make sure we'll want to go to our games Minecraft. 
Okay, we'll log in. Sadly, the retina display does not like Minecraft, but uh, log in. So, new update. Yeah, I have not used 1.3 on this yet, so we'll go ahead and download that really quick. Shouldn't take long at all. One second, and it should be done. I'll just go ahead and cut to when it's done. All right, and it has been done downloading. It's just done downloading. So we are now on one Minecraft 1.3.1. We're over to multiplayer, and we'll go ahead and put in add server, put in local host as a server address, name it whatever you want. I already have it in my server list. So go ahead and double click on that to log in. And if we've done it correctly, we should be on our server. Make sure it's off, so I'll go ahead and opt myself. And that should be it. Let's see. That is correct. I opt myself, so this is my server. Everything's working great for 1.3. And that's the end of this video. So rate, comment, uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Um, any questions should be private message to me, I want to make that clear. I do not answer questions in the comments most of the time, unless it's a special, something special or some problem with the video I can fix. Other than that, PM me with any questions you might have. And that's it. So, yeah.